new AI has been created and told them Devin is the first AI software engineer. The headlines are screaming that the software engineering jobs are dead. They claim that the Devin can code entire project from scratch, fix all GitHub issues and take on freelance jobs on Upwork. My friend who is in second year on computer science asked me, does that mean I study for nothing and there will be no job for me when I graduate? And here's my short answer to that question. Will AI replace developer? No. And the long answer to that would be no. Okay, jokes aside, there are five reasons why I'm not worried about AI taking any developer jobs out there. Let's dive into details. First, let me introduce myself. I'm Nebosha and I have nothing to sell to you. The aim of this channel is to build a genuine community that values honesty over clickbait, thumbnails, hooks and other marketing tricks everyone uses on us all the time. Let's be honest, AI is now trending and there's a lot of big companies here for the sake of making money really fast. We must understand that these companies are in the business of selling. They are well-trained marketing professionals that will demo you the most impressive part that will get you excited. Keep in mind that this hype around AI is well organized not to scare you but to grab all attention it can get from you and definitely from investors. As someone who works for a big company and has attended numerous security trainings on protecting against the use of AI which were paid for by my company, do you really think that they will replace any developers from the company with some AI tool? Do you really think that the company invests a lot of money in education developer not to use AI due to security issues? Would let AI pick up their sensitive code base, generate changes that affect multi-million dollar application without understanding what that change might bring and automatically deploy it to the production? Not really. That's a recipe for disaster. Trust me. I played with a lot of these tools and they're far from perfect. We can compare airplane autopilot to AI. The first autopilot was invented in 1912 and I have never heard of any pilot losing the job because of autopilot. It just made life much easier for the pilots. Consider this, flying a plane isn't just about the pilot in the cockpit. It involves a team of experts, from engineers designing the aircraft to mechanics maintaining it and air traffic controls guiding its path. Autopilot, in this context, is like enhancing the pilot's ability to maintain a steady course and altitude, much like how AI improves certain aspects of the software development. However, just as a pilot's skills goes way beyond keeping the plane on course, Human expertise in aviation requires a deep understanding on weather patterns, emergency procedures and complex aircraft systems. Similarly, while AI can handle some of coding tasks, it lacks the human touch needed to truly understand a client's needs. But here's the key point. The trend is that we spend less time on the boring repetitive typing stuff and more time on creative and strategic parts of the software development. Another thing to consider is that ChatGPT has been around for a year and a half and although it can generate code, ChatGPT hasn't replaced any software engineer. At least I haven't heard of any developer losing job because of ChatGPT. ChatGPT reminds me of that friend who always seem to have an answer for everything, even if they don't know what they're talking about. AI does exactly that. AI is able to spit out something that looks impressive but doesn't actually solve the problem. An application is not just about code. A key aspect of successful application is collaboration with different teams. Thinking about user experience involves engineers, designers and stakeholders working together to find a solution. AI will never be able to replace that human interaction. Look, in the last 30 years, programming has changed significantly. Back then, we didn't have all that fancy tools we have today. There was no auto-completion, it was just text, character by character. Then code snippets came with just a few keystrokes, you could generate a whole chunk of code, which was amazing for efficiency. Three years ago, GitHub Copilot first came out. There was a similar hype and fear that it would replace developers. But the reality is, it's been a productivity booster, not a job stealer. My advice would be to prioritize learning more than ever before, as the combination of knowledge and human intelligence is unmatched. 
Ignore clickbait headlines and focus on continuous learning and skill development. Share your thoughts in the comments. Like and share this video with your colleagues and friends to help spread the message. Subscribe for more reviews and continue to grow without distraction.